guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Sophie. I'm super excited to be back with another episode of my eyeshadow do's and don'ts. This is a new series that I have going on here on our channel. I'm going to be uploading a new video every single Monday and I was super excited to film this today for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this series. I've seen so many lovely comments on the last video that I uploaded and it just brings me so much joy and happiness to be able to create these videos for you guys. I recently got a request to do an all matte look so I thought why not do a halo eye and do matte colors for this look today. So that's exactly what I did. Just like the last video from this series, I'm using the same exact eyeshadows different techniques and I'm going to give you guys my tips on what I do for this and tips to avoid, tips that I don't do for this. So yeah, like always guys, don't be offended if you use these techniques yourself. I'm just showing you guys what I do to achieve a very sharp defined halo eye and what I would avoid if you're trying to achieve a sharp defined halo eye. So yeah, don't be offended if you use any of these techniques that I'm saying that you shouldn't do. Everybody does makeup differently and um, just because I'm saying don't do it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it if you like it. So yeah. So first thing I'm doing for my do, I'm just priming my eyelid and I'm using my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just applying a nice even base and then... I'm going in with this stippling small brush. I'm not really sure the name of this brush, but this one is by Morphe. And I'm just using that to further blend the concealer. And then I'm going into this damp beauty sponge by Rimmel London. I actually really, really like it. And I just use that to further blend. And then I'm going in with this brush and some of my Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder to set my eyelid. And that just gives us a nice base. Don't would be not applying any primer and just going straight in with a dark eyeshadow. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Don't really recommend it because it does accentuate your pigmentation. And if you have dark eyelids like me, it's just going to make you look like you have a black eye. I mean, in some cases, it looks beautiful and natural. But for this look particular, I don't think that it's a good idea. So for today's palette, I'm using my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette from the Volt collection. And I'm just picking up this warm transition color called Secure. And I'm just buffing this into my crease. And I'm buffing it pretty low because we are going to be blending. But you want to start off low and then slowly build it up. Next, I'm picking up an angled brush and the shade Smooth Criminal, which is a light brown eyeshadow in the palette. And as you can see, I'm drawing this line way above my natural crease. A don't would be going in with a less defined brush and also dragging it down really, really, really low. Here, for the don't part, I'm going to be going along my real crease, not going to be drawing it above my natural crease. And I do consider myself to have semi-hooded eyes. Um, just because I have a very, very small amount of lid space. So I'm going to show you guys how I give myself a little bit more lid space. And then another don't, I'm just going in with more dark eyeshadow, not really building it up. And also going in with really, really big brushes that give me zero precision and zero control. And for some cases, this might look pretty decent, but for the look that we're trying to achieve today, it's not defined and... It's not really controlled. Um, then I'm picking up this flat brush and I'm starting to carve my lid. And I actually used to carve my lid like this, you guys. I used to just put it on my real crease. I used to not drag it above my real crease. And that's exactly how it looks. It does not look good in my opinion. And then I'm going in back for the dew part of the eye. And I'm picking up this small tapered brush and some more of that shade that we applied in the crease to buff out that line. And then I'm going in with the dark brown eyeshadow and a really, really defined angled brush. And I'm just starting to draw another line in my crease and add even more depth. And as you can see, you guys, I slowly, slowly build color. I'm going in with this small tapered brush and some more of that light brown shade. And I'm just starting to diffuse that in left and right motions over top of that line.
Next, I'm going to carve my lid and I grab my angled brush and I just kind of pinch it and it really gives you a sharp edge and if your brush is clean, then I recommend going in with some glitter glue and then letting it dry down. It definitely makes it very, very precise and I just carved my lid and then I set it with some translucent powder. I'm gonna make a more de detailed, dedicated video to carving the lid, so just stay tuned for that. And as you guys can see, I did not set the eyelid in the don't portion, so it did transfer. And um, yeah, that's why I said I have technically have semi-hooded eyes because if I do open my eye in a certain direction, my lid will touch my crease. And then for the don't part, I'm just kind of going straight over with shadow and once again using big brushes that don't really give me the precision. Next, I'm going in with liquid liner and I'm going in with this one by The Balm. This is the Schwing liner. And then I'm popping on my lashes and I didn't really curl my lashes so they didn't really blend with the falsy. But for today's lashes, I'm using my Shop Sophie Bella Bahama lashes. Then going back to the do portion, I'm picking up this really, really small pencil brush and some more of that secure shade and I'm just patting that on the inner and outer corner and then grabbing a bigger fluffier brush and just kind of diffusing that and this brush is fluffy but it's still small enough to have control over where I'm blending and how much I'm pressing down. And then I'm going into Smooth Criminal and another pencil brush. And this is my favorite job for pencil brushes is Halo Eyes. So I don't really use them for anything else just for Halo Eyes. And it just really allows to get precision and to add extra pigmentation on that very inner and outer corner. Then I'm picking up this small tapered brush and some more of that Smooth Criminal shade. And I'm just blending out whatever we applied with the pencil brush. And I didn't really apply a lot of shadow to that brush while blending. We're just blending whatever we set down. And then I'm going in with another pencil brush and the extra dark brown shade in the palette. And I'm just pressing on that very inner and outer corner. We're adding a small gradient. So the more precise you are, the better the outcome will be. Then I'm going back into the small tapered brush and some more of that smooth criminal shade. And I'm just slowly blending out what we applied, trying to keep as much precision as possible. And especially for this step, do not blend too much in. You want it to be nice and gradient. You want the center of that lid to still pop. Next, I'm going back into my liquid liner by The Balm. This one's called the Schwing Liner. And then applying my Shop Sophie Bella Bahama Lashes once again. I just did an eyelash do's and don'ts video. So if you guys struggle with applying falsies, I will leave that video linked down below. And then going on to the don'ts, I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush and just diffusing that transition color to the lower lash line. I personally do not know how people use big brushes and pencil brushes for the lower lash line. It's just they're too big for my small eyes, I guess. And it kind of makes me look like I have raccoon eyes when I use those types of brushes. So... I'll show you guys how I apply shadow to my lower lash line in the next clip. So that's pretty much for the don't portion of this video. I did apply shadow to the inner corner with a big fluffy brush and I personally find that it doesn't really add as much color as it would if I used a small detailed brush and also wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus so I will show you guys that as well in the next clip go ahead and comment down below what you guys want to see in the next eyeshadow do's and don'ts video like what type of look like maybe a cat eye look um i don't know go ahead and leave a comment down below so moving on to the do part of my eye i'm going in with this small smudger brush and as you can see it's very very precise and i can get really really close to my lower lash line then i'm going into this flat defined brush and I'm going in with that smooth criminal shade and once again just applying it as close to my lower lashes as possible. Then I'm going into the dark brown eyeshadow and my really really small angled brush and I'm just applying that very detailed to the outer corner and then going back into my smudger brush and just kind of marrying all those colors together. And then going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara 
And then for the inner corner, I'm going into this shade right here called Guilt Trip. And I like using this lip pencil brush by Moda Brushes. And as you can see, it definitely pops a lot more than the other way. So I don't like using big fluffy brushes for the inner corner. I like using my small lip brush. And I did wet it with some Fix Plus as well. And this is the finished look, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had so much fun creating it. And it's just so fun for me to give you guys my tips and tricks and just really break everything down. As usual, guys, we have monthly giveaways here on our channel. So at the end of every single month, we're going to pick a brand new subscriber to win a box of goodies. We will ship you guys a whole box of makeup so if you guys want to be entered for that go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe turn your post notifications on and then comment done down below thank you so much guys and i will see you guys in the next one bye